Who ho who? Hello YouTube, it's me, Ariel Voice, back for another video. We're doing something different today. I have this new gadget. When I first saw it, I was like, there's no way this is real. But basically it's called the Vocalia Doubler 2. You can hook this thing up to your computer and sing the notes that you want in your beats instead of playing them like on a keyboard or something. Oh. What? I can just sit here and just make my beat like this? Huh? Ho, ho, who, oh, who, who. Like this has been my dream since I was a little girl. Not really, but kind of. It just seems so convenient. I can play my voice way better than I can play the keyboard. I'm like, this is this is my bag. This has to be it for me. So today we're gonna explore it together. Why am I talking into this? So the Doubler 2 is the software that you use and you integrate it with your DAW or probably other things. I'm still learning everything about it. So this is why we're just going to do a deep dive together and try to make a be today by singing it. Let's get right into the screen recording. Okay, so we're in here now. This is the double or two, and I have the mic hooked up. I basically just opened this up, right? And then I put Keyscape on here. So I'm like trying to figure out, oh my God, okay. I'm trying to figure out like how to do the chords. You have to have the sound or the plug -in. Really, nigga? You have to have the sound or the plugin armed. Make sure that this is clicked or whatever so that it actually will play it, but yeah. This is cool as hell. All right, let's see. Uh-oh, hold on. Okay, so it's not doing the notes I want. Okay, we need D enable. Whoa, I like these, hold on. I'm gonna record my idea and the sound. We can always change it, let's go. Out of all the goods. Wow though, like look, it really like, it really has it all on here, the freak. This is fire. Would I have done that on my keyboard? Nope. No, I wouldn't have. I'm gonna just say it now. So this is impressive. We gotta get it together. The, the kicker is gonna be how I can do my percussion. I kind of want to get a groove set around these chords and then I'm like build from there. Hello? I can't just do it like T, T, T. No, we're not doing it. We're not doing it. Okay, let's do this. cook is these percussions. I don't know, but let me just get my idea out real quick. That's a little better. That's a little better. this latency but honestly this is cool as heck i'm not gonna lie the chord progression is just a little like cliche for me but it's just like we're just trying it out let's just let's just see what the vibes are and i'm gonna get more intricate at some point <laughs> Oh, 
Why is it still cards? Okay, let's try to uh, do a base maybe. Let's see if that's possible. Cause is it like the octave? You have to sing. In the you have to sing in the octave. I wonder. Let's see. Okay, we we gotta figure out the chord stuff. Can we not do the chords? Help. Oh, oh, you know what? That's what it is. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. I can see it in your smile. latency a little bit like I feel as though it's pretty low already so i don't know this was fun because i know that some of those chords and some of those things i would have i would not have played that like how it was recorded in here so once i really figure out these kinks of this program for real i feel like this is going to be dope let me know what y'all think of this like would you guys use this to make beats and like would this be clutch for you like how i imagine it being clutch for me right now i like it but I'm still just figuring it out. So like this video if you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. It's on the way soon.